Hey, 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 it's What's Cooking. What's Cooking, Good Looking. So, I'm kind of excited about this because it's something I've never made and it's keto friendly. And I'm making wonton tacos. Mm, that's a big taco. I <laughs> know, they're going to be little. Um, but I'm putting them in a muffin tin. So, I'm spraying the muffin tin. And I'm also not using chicken, turkey, or beef. I'm using pork, the other white meat. So just like a whole different kind of variation on what is in my brain. So I've never ever in my life even had a wonton paper in my hand, let alone made something oh, like wonton. that. Oh, wonton. I thought you said one ton. No, no, no. I've never yeah, literally. So that's a huge taco. No, I, one ton. Got it. All right. So I'm just going to kind of, I guess, I've never done this, place these little buggers in here. I've got some onion and olive oil sauteing. Actually, let me... Um, of course, our friend Jean would say, Ignon. Ignon. I'm going to put the uh, pork in here, too. All right. Let's get that pork sizzling in here. How's everybody doing? Um, I know there's something big on TV today, but I'm not really paying attention to it. For sure. I'm not sure I can stand watching it. So, for those of you who are not watching anything on TV right now, hopefully you can hang out with us. All right, so, some ground turkey, and to this, we need to season it, right? Like it's taco meat. So, I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna add, well, I need to brown it first. So let's season it with some cumin. All right, cumin. Let's put some chili powder. I don't have taco seasoning mix, I'm just making it up. So, okay, let's put some crushed red pepper because it's my favorite thing I always use. But for those who have Lowry's, it's a pretty good, easy cheat. Lowry's? Yeah, Lowry's there, taco mix. They have one? Uh-huh, it's oh, a good one. I didn't know. Yeah. See, every now and again, Phil Fredrickson in a culinary world just pulls something out that I had no idea about. And that is one thing I, huh, mm -hmm. good to know. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. I was in the coop today with the Chicky Chews. Well, I had a two day sales edge with Tom Ferry's guru, Bill Pikes. And is it during, Pikes or Pikes? Pikes. I always and, thought it was with a P, like Pikes. P-I-K-E-S, Pikes. Okay. P is in Paul. I've been thinking Pikes all this time. Anyway, um, during our break, I ran down, let the doggies out, and then I noticed that the Chicky Chews food was a little bit suspect, so I bounced in there quickly and took care of the Chicky Chews. What was suspect about it? The, you they know just got brand new food yesterday. Yeah, you know how the food is held with a um, holder? Yeah. They had bounced it all the way to the top, oh, yeah. and that whole container was going to fall. Yeah, they do that all the time. I know, but I didn't want it to do it right with brand new food. Okay, so. Not quite sure what it is they do to make that happen. I know. I don't either. All right, so browning this up. It's sizzling. We're going to take these little paper doodads. This, these are cool. I'm oh, dying to find out. Denise is either watching you from Cabo. Oh, I think or she's home. home. I think she's home. And okay. Denise, I know a birthday is coming up. I wonder if you were on the pre-birthday trip. So we're doing a little um, keto-friendly wonton taco. I've never made it in my life. And as I said, I've never even touched one of these before, let alone made something. So I hope I know what to do. Watch. This will become like my new favorite thing. Or I want to make them all the time. So, Denise, what are those you're made out of this. Yeah, I don't I have a clue. Do you want something to... tells me it's probably not? But it, it is a keto recipe, sort of. It tells you to use it. Well, I don't follow a recipe very much, but I, I like look at recipes online and then I sort of wing it. So sometimes I miss stuff and I, you know, forget. Um, I think. Um, Denise said it's her annual trip. I think it was supposed to be earlier in the year and they had to postpone it. Oh, well, how cool it was right by your birthday. That's me. 
Um, I don't think these wonton things are as keto as they should be, but I think it'll be okay. They're small. But the ingredients will be. Well, welcome back. Your trip looks awesome. Yeah, and hopefully, I love Cabo. We can't wait to come see the house. All right, so now we're going to grate some cheese. And uh, I have white cheddar and orange cheddar. You hate orange. <laughs> I love orange, but I don't like orange cheddar. This is such a good cheddar. That's dish. not my favorite orange cheddar, I have to say. There's much better orange cheddar cheeses. Oh, Chef Deb, Deb said she's going to get me something to prevent me from like killing myself with that thing. Oh, yeah. The shredder. Is heaven on? Heaven, yeah, what are you doing? So. Double dipping? Jay is on still. Or unless he bounced to go watch the, the comedy show that's on tonight. I heard there's some kind of show. All right, something's up with Instagram. Is it on? Is it on? I think it, maybe it's on. I don't know. Who knows? Very confusing. Doesn't look like it is, but. Oh well. All right, so we're gonna do, oh, fresh avocado. Jay left for the debates. Oh, he did, okay. Cool. Couldn't pay me to watch him. Oh, so watch, let's talk about my watch. All right, the girl who never wears a watch. All right. I am so grateful. I don't know, somebody's delivering something at the door. So my friend and past client met him, met him in um, surgery. I wasn't being operated on, but somebody else was. Connected because we both love orange. And became friends, sold him a house. Um, love, love, love him. He like gave me an eye watch. I'm like so like grateful, I can't even tell you. Great. So I have an eye watch. I'm all excited. And if you have an eye watch, we can walkie-talkie each other, which is really fun. It's like being in a treehouse as a young kid, which I did have a treehouse, and I loved it. Okay, so my cheat is instead of using like diced canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes, I'm going to put salsa in here. I'm just going to pour some Trader Joe's salsa in. Going to mix it up. So the vibe is, once all, oh, I'm going to put more in. <coughs> Might as well pour the whole damn jar in. Right? Okay. So we'll put the salsa in there, stir it up. And then Philip went today to, major, uh, to Valley Market out in Spring Valley, and Valley Farms. And Valley Farms is family owned and operated. It's a local grocery store that has absolutely phenomenal products. Great butcher shop, um, excellent homemade guacamole and meats salsa. And seafood. Yeah, meats and seafoods. Their um, pokey is delicious. They just opened a new location in La Jolla. It's just super nice to be able to support local and as opposed to like a giant Albertsons or a giant. Um, you know, Vons, you're going to a grocery store that's very local. So um, he was out there doing what? What did you do today? I was, well, I was at my computer responding to somebody about our new baby puppy. Oh, Harley. Mm -hmm. um, Denise was asking how she was. Harley is doing better. Um, let me tell you, Denise, she's like wildly obsessed with you me like no matter where i go what i do if i go outside for two seconds she's at the door she's super hyper um i'm trying to calm her and reassure her um today i did a little video of she and McKen mackenzie finally like really playing together during um one of my, my zoom training i was on it was like oh my goodness they finally like mackenzie loves to play and Harley's like independent and plays by herself, so it's kind of sad. She must never have had anybody that would play with her, and so she only knows being independent, but yet weirdly fixated in the house with me. But they have other dogs. I know. So maybe it's that the humans wouldn't play with her, but the dog would. I don't know. And since you do, wow. I don't know. But at the moment, 
it. She's still sleeping in her crate, and she she's therapy. very, she's, <laughs> she's very hyper, like anxious. Not hyper in a bad way, but anxious. Right, honey? She is anxious. And it's sad. I mean, to me, it, it's like breaking my heart to see how um, anxious she is. Okay, so we've shredded cheese. We're going to take our Cutco awesome knife that I love to cut avocado with. And basically, this thing can cut a tree. Oh, I didn't say why I was out. Did you say why I was yeah, out? Yeah, I'm like, where were you today? Well, I was I was out showing our multi-unit property in Spring Valley. Okay. Uh, which went really well. Awesome. And then from there, I was delivering some pot pies. Pot pies? Um, out in East County, all the way up into uh, Alpine. Wow. Yeah. So we definitely go about 125 the miles of driving today. Nice. Well, that's good. Yeah. We're about to discuss a request for repairs, and we think everything is good. That's so okay. Got to look at that. This avocado looks perfecto. So, we're going to put a little of the meat in each of these little um, shells, okay? Spoon some in. All right. Ooh, these are going to be kind of cool, I think. So we'll spoon some did in. You, like did you like oil those or anything, like so they, they crispy up in the oven? No, I don't mean on the bottom. Oh, no, no. I mean to make them crispy when they're cooked. You don't do that. Oh. You want it to be soft? No. 375, 12, 14 minutes, the little buggers are supposed to get crisp. Okay. So at least that's my delusional brain hoping. And then you add some cheese on top. I'm going to do like a little mixture. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to fill all of those. We're going to bake them, 375, for as many minutes as I just said, and I'll be checking it to make sure. And then we're going to put some fresh avocado, salsa from Valley Farms, which is really good salsa, even a dollop of guac because we want even more, and a dollop of sour cream to make it super fattening, um, keto friendly. Sound good? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be kind of fun. I love Mexican food. I know you do. And I Love and we it. never get it. I mean, we almost never eat it. We never have it um, to the extent that I actually had Philip Fredrickson make me a spicy margarita. Yeah. I know. Mexican food's my favorite food group. <laughs> I know. You love it. I do. I grew up with it. Well, Philip grew up eating Mexican, Chinese, Italian, and American. Oh, there's more than that. Which one? Oh. I ate some of those things when I was in Hawaii. Does that make it Hawaiian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I had more than that, I'm sure. I just, oh, is Karen... Did we say Italian? I did say Italian. Oh, okay. oh tell them how that chicken parmesan came out. Oh, last night's chicken parmesan. <sighs> the best chicken parmesan I've ever had, and I'm not just trying to get lucky. It was really I'm, good. I'm serious. Was it was it? super good. It was, it was good. The only, I told Mary Beth, the only thing that makes my other three favorite chicken parmesans better is that she doesn't have to cook it and I don't have to clean up after it. <laughs> Otherwise, this was the best. It did come out pretty darn good. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that sausage um, meat sauce thing that I made makes it more unique, plus all the cheese. Like oh, it was yeah. super cheesy. Very cheesy. And then you bread it with Parmesan cheese and egg and fry it. And what else did you bread it with? Oh, some of the pork. Um, and how'd that turn out? That, that worked well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yet yeah. another Philip Fredrickson added um, culinary aspect to our dinner. See, I'm more than just chili cheese dogs. I know. <laughs> um, the other thing we're going to make, actually I'm going to do it right now, is I'm going to put uh, some Garlic. And it makes really good enchiladas chili con verde. It's a recipe from her son's grandmother in Mexico's recipe. It's Ooh. spicy. So, heaven. Oh, heaven. Okay, cool. She'll make some for us sometime. I love it. All right, I'm going to gonna put some garlic in here. I'm going to make the Eric and... Um, Uh, no, my um, 
my uh, balsamic vinegar. I know. So we fix that. Arrow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I can. Okay, so Akram's olive oil. Eric's amazing jam, fig jam. That is good jam. Oh, thank so you, good. Eric. Thank you, Eric. Gonna put a big old dollop in there. So olive oil, garlic, a big dollop of fig, fig I'm jam. I'm pretty sure I put that on a piece of um, rye bread toast with peanut butter and that you fig did? jam. Oh yeah. I didn't even know he was making. Where do you make toast? I get it on the oven. Oh, he I has like a stash of bread out of the garage. I didn't even think about toasting it that way until you, you said that's how you did are it. are hilarious. Okay. Then we're going to take Chris Anderson's um, Beekman 1802 balsamic vinaigrette. That's how long is, it's been. What, is, what do you call that? I with, think. Uh, distilling? And it's, it's fig and elderberry. Add that. And then we're going to. That's add, really good stuff. Right? We're gonna add, I think, um, it's better to like mix it in. I know this sounds weird, but it gives the salad dressing body. I'm gonna add goat cheese to the, um, to this. And then I'm gonna mix it all together. So I'm gonna- What kind of lettuce are you using? <laughs> Probably arugula. For Again. a change? You mean? Yeah, for a change. <laughs> all right, so then I'm gonna just stir this all up. And it's gonna look kind of thick. In there. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I think it'll be really yummy. And then we'll put some um, goat cheese on top as well. But Eric and Chris, this is like ingredients and Akram. This is like super cool. It's all like locally sourced, except for Eric's um, fig jam, which is sourced from Texas. This is all coming to us from peeps we know. Everything That's why it's such this. a big jar of that jam, because everything's bigger in Texas. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is such a good dressing. Oh, my God. And I did put black pepper in here, too. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is going to be the dressing. Scott nicely just popped on. Hey, Scott. How you doing, Scott? We are making, um, we are making pork tacos in wonton shells, keto style, with double cheddar cheese, and they go in the oven at 375 for about 12 to 14 minutes. Just eye it. Then we're gonna lace it with fresh avocado, sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. I think we should try to squeeze in uh, to Cheval tomorrow and visit them and have oh, we a gotta, glass or so. We have a really crazy day tomorrow. That yeah, is not, but earlier is no, more. PT, uh -uh, we have a dinner. I'll worry about that. I don't oh. have to do anything tonight. Have a physical inspection in the morning. Yeah. For first time home buyers. Then I have that an appointment. Like I hours. have an appointment with my friend about his property in Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I have another appointment and we still have to grocery shop and organize for what the heck we're gonna make for dinner. Pretty sure I, I just don't, have to go pick up the there's fish. There's no right? way we can do it tomorrow. Pick up the fish. Just say so that. You know. And hopefully we're showing property on Saturday. That's what's happening in our neck of the woods. Hopefully everybody's staying safe, healthy, support your local businesses. Definitely support, if you're in San Diego, our local wineries like Cheval, Espinosa, Highland Valley, um, uh, Cordiano that makes pizza and Italian food. Speckled um, Rock, Speckled, Speckled Rock, Rock, where they actually are right now. Domain Artifact. Are you at Speckled Rock? He is. Oh my gosh, you've got to say hi to Dwayne and tell him that you know the crazy redhead. And also Yvonne is the winemaker there. Hey, Tracy Goodman, Philip came out to see you all the way out in Alpine. Today is the one year anniversary of your physical inspection on what ended up being a very long escrow that we didn't even close until 2020. So thank God we, we did and everything was great. Okay, so. Stay physically distant while staying socially connected. Try to stay off of the TV today. Try to stay off of negative social media. Um, and don't forget to vote, okay? See you soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate your support. And um, I'm excited to try these little doodads. I think they'll be good. Right? I yeah. think so too. See ya. Have a great evening.